excuse me? I don't get, I don't get why you throw the door like that, or like all the way. Okay, I'm closing the door all the way. No, no, no. You want me to close it a little bit? You shush your mouth. Don't say it. I said shush. But just don't say it. Okay, that. you, you zip your lips. Okay. All oh, right. Okay. Well, then you know what you could do. You could write me a list of what I can and can't say. So I'm gonna close the door. As long as you're yelling and screaming, I'm closing the door. If you don't want me to close it all the way, then you zip your lips. If that's on your list of words that I'm. A Serenity Cruise is a poem about the experience as a parent. You know, going through the roller coaster of emotions. This particular poem was just me capturing the serenity, the serene moment of taking a bicycle ride to the library with my son and expecting some obstacles when we get there because I'm dealing with a a toddler, you know, a child. Um, and uh, this poem it was just capturing that moment where the, the ride was just pure bliss. We had such a, a really cool time just strolling down Briggs, which is a street in the Bronx, and um, just capturing that moment, that experience, and, and anticipating potential meltdowns and tantrums at the library. And I know this is super relatable. I was just really glad to capture that and encapsulate that in this poem and I hope you can uh, relate with this experience that I had. Cruising down Briggs on a mild day receiving angular kisses from the sun's rays my son in his carrier seat catching every beat of our Spotify playlist as we coast through each breeze we block out the city sounds and connect like the roots from the ground. Why aren't these moments of serenity extended like sound? Traveling through the fabric of outer space, our bicycle ride was reduced to too short. On our ride home, I'll slow down the pace because our time at the library will feel like a drag race and my patience is what will be dragged out of place. <laughs>